So I did a video a while ago testing out how much AI tools like ChatGPT and Living Labs had advanced by making an entire AI generated alternate history scenario where I guided ChatGPT quite a lot in order to come up with a scenario and then made Living Labs read the script in my voice. Now with the release of GPT-4, I thought it could be fun to do the experiment again to see if things have improved and if it can perhaps come up with something without as much guidance. In short, it could. ChatGPT created the entire script without major guidance, only having to shorten it. Last time around, another major issue was AI image generation not quite being good enough to be useful, especially with maps. This time, however, everything that is in the map is AI generated. As for the maps, it's good at making blank maps, but it struggles to remove modern borders, and especially when you try to add countries. So for this experiment, I still have to make the maps. With that said, let's let AI Neatlink take over again. Welcome to a journey through an alternate history, where the Roman Empire never fell. In this speculative world, Rome's eagle continues to soar, shaping a world dramatically different from our own. Let's explore this fascinating timeline, examining how Rome's survival impacts global civilization, politics, and culture. Constantine's vision and the new Rome, 3rd century AD. In the 3rd century AD, Emperor Constantine the Great, central to our alternate Rome, embraces Christianity and a visionary governance inspired by ancient Chinese dynasties. His reforms, blending strategic foresight with political innovation, reshape Roman history. Constantine decentralizes the empire, granting provincial governors autonomy, allowing them to manage their provinces freely. This addresses the challenges of ruling a vast empire and deviates from traditional Roman central control. Facing threats from Germanic and Gothic tribes, Constantine chooses integration over war. He forms alliances, offering autonomy for military support, securing borders, and enriching Roman culture. In Africa, Asia Minor, and the Near East, he strengthens Rome's presence, reinforcing garrisons and fostering trade, especially with the Persian Empire, balancing competition and cooperation. Economically, Constantine tackles inflation and currency devaluation. Inspired by Eastern monetary systems, he introduces the Solidus, a new gold coin stabilizing the economy. He also revolutionizes Roman bureaucracy, implementing meritocracy to reduce corruption and inefficiency, making the administration more dynamic and responsive. Under Constantine, Rome becomes a cultural melting pot, military powerhouse, and economic beacon. This new, decentralized, yet united Rome sparks a period of growth and prosperity, laying the foundation for a lasting empire. The Integration Era, 5th century AD In the 5th century of this alternate history, the Roman Empire successfully integrates barbarian tribes like the Goths and Vandals, avoiding the downfall seen in our history. Rome abandons its reliance on Germanic mercenaries, instead offering these tribes land, citizenship, and authority, in exchange for loyalty and military service. To ensure allegiance, Rome promotes cultural assimilation, educating tribal youth in Roman customs and integrating tribal warriors into the legions, trained in Roman tactics and led by both Roman and tribal leaders. This fosters unity and a shared Roman identity. Politically, tribal leaders gain power within provincial administrations, with checks to align them with imperial interests, reducing internal conflicts. Economically, Rome harnesses tribal agricultural and artisanal skills boosting local economies and expanding trade networks. This era witnesses a cultural renaissance, blending Roman and barbarian traditions, enriching arts, philosophy, and literature. Foreign policy shifts to a defensive stance, focusing on border security with integrated tribal forces deterring invasions. Justinian's Golden Age, 6th century AD. In this alternate timeline, the 6th century is defined by the reign of Emperor Justinian, but with a crucial difference from our history. In this world, Justinian doesn't focus on reclaiming the Western Roman territories, as they remain firmly under Roman control thanks to the successful integration policies of his predecessors. Instead, his ambitions and accomplishments manifest in different yet equally monumental ways. He extends Roman influence into Germania and Northern Europe, focusing on both military conquest and cultural political integration. Justinian also strengthens Rome's presence in the Middle East, establishing far-reaching trade relations extending to India and China. This transforms the Silk Road into a major commerce network, linking Rome with Eastern cultures and economies. His reign is notable for governance and legal reforms, particularly the Corpus Juris Civilis, a comprehensive codification of Roman law influencing legal systems worldwide, including newly conquered Northern Europe and trade partners in Asia and Africa. Economically, Justinian's era is a golden age, 
The Mediterranean, under Roman control, becomes a commerce hub. Trade thrives along traditional and new routes, promoting a cultural renaissance in art, literature, and science. Justinian's rule in this timeline marks a period of expansion, innovation in law and administration, and economic and cultural growth, establishing Rome as a global power with a lasting worldwide influence. He is remembered as a transformative visionary who elevates the Roman Empire to global prominence. The Medieval Renaissance, 7th to 13th century. In this alternate timeline, the Roman Empire's medieval period, 7th, 13th century, contrasts starkly with our history's dark ages, showcasing a vibrant medieval renaissance. The empire, a cultural melting pot, thrives on knowledge from India and China. Indian algebra and calculus revolutionize Roman engineering, architecture, and science, leading to extraordinary architectural and engineering feats. Chinese contributions like gunpowder and papermaking transform Roman warfare and administration. Paper's availability boosts literacy and scholarly pursuits, fostering a cultural resurgence in arts, literature, and philosophy. This Roman Renaissance, fueled by patronage and cultural amalgamation, blends Greco-Roman, Indian, and Chinese influences, enriching arts and accommodating diverse religions like Buddhism and Hinduism. Scientifically, Roman scholars advance in astronomy, physics, biology, and medicine, benefiting from Greek, Roman, Indian, and Chinese insights. Healthcare and understanding of human anatomy improve dramatically. The rise of Islam in this world faces a different geopolitical landscape. The strong Roman and Persian empires in the Middle East confine Islam's spread to the Arabian Peninsula, keeping it a regional religion and significantly altering Middle Eastern and global religious dynamics. Russian Resilience and Roman Relations, 13th to 14th century. In the 13th century, the Mongol Empire emerges as a formidable force but is halted by the Roman Empire, which has integrated diverse military tactics. This resistance changes European history and influences Kievan Rus, a federation of East Slavic, Norse, and Finnic peoples established in the late 9th century. In this alternate history, the strong Roman Empire alters Kievan Rus' development and its interactions with neighboring powers, likely maintaining independence. Kievan Rus engages in trade and cultural exchanges with Rome, which sees it as a buffer state against northern threats like the Mongols. With the Mongol Empire's collapse, Kievan Rus could evolve into a significant regional power, developing a unique Slavic culture and political entity distinct from historical Russia. The relationship between Kievan Rus and the Roman Empire would be based on mutual respect and beneficial exchange, shaping a diverse European landscape. Discovery and Exchange, Rome and the New World, 15th century. In this alternate 15th century, the Roman Empire's discovery of the Americas happens accidentally during maritime explorations. Intrigued by the new lands and noting the native population's technological gap, Rome sees an opportunity for expansion and influence. The unintentional spread of diseases by the Romans, leading to depopulation in some native communities, further prompts their colonization efforts. Rome's strategy combines colonization with cooperation, being less vigorous than in our real world. In less developed areas, like Brazil and eastern North America, Rome establishes trade-focused settler colonies. Conversely, in regions with advanced civilizations like the Aztecs and Incas, Rome opts for alliances and influence, trading Roman technology and practices for local knowledge. The Roman presence in the Americas fosters a unique cultural blend, merging Roman and native customs. Christianity, introduced by the Romans, evolves to include native beliefs, creating syncretic religious practices. While resource competition and cultural misunderstandings lead to occasional conflicts, Rome's emphasis on integration over subjugation allows for fairly peaceful coexistence and mutual adaptation between Roman settlers and native populations, compared to Spanish colonization efforts in our real world. The Global Melting Pot and the Roman World, 16th to 18th century. In this alternate 16th, 18th century, the Roman Empire, stretching from the British Isles to Mesopotamia, faces rivals like China, India, and Persia, creating a tense global landscape. The long-standing Roman-Persian wars continue, shaping Rome's foreign policy and military strategy while draining resources. Arabia, caught between Rome and Persia, may not become a dominant political force due to the restricted spread of Islam. It potentially acts as a buffer or contested region, with a culture influenced by both empires. In the Americas, Roman colonies, Terra Aurea and Terra Occidens, evolve into unique societies mixing Roman and Native American elements. Areas like modern Brazil and parts of North America might develop into separate entities with hybrid cultures and governance. These colonies, growing in size and identity, might seek autonomy, 
prompting Rome to allow self-governance while retaining overall control. The Age of Enlightenment and Industrial Shifts, 18th to 19th century. During the 18th century and this alternate history, the Roman Empire undergoes its Age of Enlightenment, influenced by its unique history, engineering tradition, Greek philosophy, and Eastern knowledge. This period focuses on scientific advancements and empirical knowledge to improve empire management and living standards. The Industrial Revolution, diverging from our history, likely stems from advancements in metallurgy, agriculture, and textiles, aided by Rome's trade networks and wealth. These innovations spread quickly across the empire. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the absence of a fragmented Europe alters international relations, with regional conflicts and diplomacy prevailing. The Roman Empire often acts as a mediator, while the prolonged Roman-Persian wars continue to influence its foreign policy and spur military and administrative innovations. The American colonies, Terra Aurea and Terra Occidens, gradually move towards autonomy, possibly seeking independence, as they develop unique cultural and political identities. These territories might become significant powers, contributing to a multipolar world order and maintaining ties with Rome. And that's about all for now. Clearly a lot has happened in only around 10 months. Going into this, I didn't imagine as clear an improvement, but it's definitely there when it comes to script writing and image generation. This won't become a regular thing on the channel since I do enjoy making videos myself, but I look forward to maybe trying this experiment once again in another few months or even a year, depending on how much things improve in the near future. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and a big thank you to all my channel members. See you next time.